So what's next, Ben? Uh, well, next, uh, we're going back to AJ, and uh, AJ is joined by Pat Gelsinger, CEO of VMware, and Julia Lewison of uh, the developer uh, division at Microsoft. Okay, well, you know, just thinking out loud here, I mean, I'm sure that Pat's had a crazy six months, to say the least. You know, he's been on the phone with who knows how many CEOs, how many governments, and with the employees at VMware, you know, all trying everyone, all trying to make everyone do their best during this global pandemic. Yeah, absolutely. And it, it's not exactly like Microsoft will be standing still either. You know, they're really, really busy now, one of the leaders in, in open source, of course. Um, so I'm really interested in what they have to say. So uh, let's head over to AJ now and find out what the latest is. I have a couple of special guests. First, I'd like to welcome Pat Gelsinger, VMware CEO. Pat, it's great to have you back at Spring One again. What a pleasure. Hey, Ajay, thank you. You know, I super enjoyed my time last year and really a pleasure to be with the Spring community again this year and representing VMware. And now that we've uh, finished our pivotal acquisition, you know, it's even more important and more exciting to be with the community today. Now, as you and I have spoken, these are trying times, right? Business as usual is no longer an option. Maybe let's start from the very top. What are you seeing in industry and how should customers and enterprise prepare, hopefully coming out of this post-COVID era? Yeah, you know, it's just been such an incredible time uh, that we've seen. And, you know, the role of technology has never been more important and more apparent to businesses as well. In fact, I was on the phone with one of my CIO friends the, uh, this past week, and he said that he was drug into the board meeting to be applauded by the board of directors. Imagine that, a CIO getting applauded by the board. You got to be kidding me. That never happens, right? You know, it's only when things don't work that they show up, right? But that also emphasizes, I mean, the technology has just scaled. We've been able to bring, you know, thousands, tens of millions of people, right, to remote work, remote school, to remote medicine. It really has been phenomenal. And in that, you know, what we would say is, you know, we've gone through this respond phase, get people scaling back. Now people are in the adapt phase, right? You know, how do we make it all uh, workable, productive, et cetera, but then looking forward to the accelerate phase. And for it, you know, as I look to technologists, I say, carpe diem, seize the day. Never have you been more credible, but never have you been more important to the future of businesses as well. They need us. They need you to be able to step up and help chart that future to a more digital future. And with that, the opportunity for that app experience becomes more and more central to every business on the planet. What a great opportunity. Yeah, couldn't agree more with you. I mean... If you think about the heart of this digital transformation is built around application. And how do you modernize the application, build new applications? And to the Spring community, you know, what are your thoughts? You know, how does Spring fit into the VMware strategy? What would your call to action be? You know, the, the impact of Spring in terms of bringing enterprise capacity and a modern cloud-centric enterprise to the Java world, you know, has been nothing short of uh, phenomenal. And as we brought Pivotal into VMware and just brought the whole family together with Heptio and Pivotal and VMware, it was so, so exciting to see Spring as this jewel inside of that uh, franchise. So we're very excited. And to me, it's been one of these things where, boy, we want to lean in harder with Spring. We want to bring more capacity, more of that developer focus to it. And with that, you know, just simply enabling businesses to get to prod faster. Right. And by having both the developer community, you know, the infrastructure and enterprise capacity of VMware, you know, that's something that we think that we can powerfully accelerate the community with as we lean in harder to spring and all the great things that you've done over many years together. No, absolutely. If you think about it, right, the, the customer base is, is yearning for a higher level of abstraction, make it easier. So what's, what's your guidance in terms of how does a developer, how does VMware help these developers move up stack? Well, you know, the first thing I'd say, Ajay, is part of our job is to solve the infra stuff, right? You know, just how do I make infrastructure invisible? How do I make it API driven, scalable? You know, in our vision of saying on premise cloud, you know, we just solve all of those infrastructure pieces of the assignment so that developers then, you know, have this rich set of services, you know, so we solve that infrastructure stuff and then provide you a richer and richer set of services that sit on top of that that enable you to do your job, to get back to development 
And then finally, to make it enterprise grade, right? And this is what we are all about. It has to be enterprise grade, enterprise scale, quality, security, management. You know, and I'd say those are the three pieces. You know, get the infra right. You know, help you with your you know services that you need to do your job, and then help it go into production at scale, get to prod. And in, in this journey, we're seeing increasingly public cloud have a big role to play. Modern applications built ready to leverage the infrastructure, flexibility, scale economics of a public cloud. You know, our own relationship at VMware with the hyperscaler has changed. Maybe get a little bit of your perspective, and what does this mean going forward? You know, it's been an incredible journey over the last couple of years, Ajay, and we've really leaned hard into building those hyperscaler relationships. Obviously, the Amazon relationship has been huge uh, for us, and it sort of set the pace of us becoming a, a true modern cloud company. But then we've partnered with all of the other hyperscalers as well. And uh, when I was on stage with Satya announcing our partnership, it felt like you know, an international peace agreement, you know, as we have been, you know, clawing and spitting and fighting with each other for decades, and now we're coming together. But also next to that as well is the Google partnership, the IBM, Oracle, Alibaba, Tencent, and all of the second tier cloud players. We truly have now built a hybrid multi-cloud infrastructure layer at scale. And inside of that, probably the Microsoft relationship is the one that we've made, you know, I'll say the most unique progress with as they really have combined what they've been doing with Spring and that developer community, now the VMware cloud offering, bringing that whole solution set together, something we're very excited about because VMware has really emerged as that unique multi-cloud layer for the industry, allowing production to truly take advantage of all the hyperscalers, but then developers to say, hey, I don't need to worry about what the cloud is going to be running on. I know I can develop on VMware and take advantage of private, public, as well as edge as well, all in a consistent fashion from the core to the cloud to the edge. That's our promise, help you have a true multi-cloud delivery vehicle and getting the prod faster. We're just thrilled to be working with the team, the Tanzu team, as well as the Spring community to accomplish exactly that. What an amazing opportunity for you. I, as a Spring developer, sitting and listening to this, right? My skills, my, my capability now being able to extend to any cloud. What a powerful story. So thank you for your commitment and support to Spring, the Spring community, and the open source effort. The perfect segue for us as we move to our new guest. Thank you, for, uh, Pat, for participating and really your, all your support and sponsorship uh, to the Spring program. Hey, thank you so much, Ajay. And to all the Spring uh, people with us today, thank you so much for participating with us. We're here to serve this ecosystem at scale. It's great to be able to be spending a bit of time with you today and looking forward to a bright future together. Thank you, Pat. Pat mentioned the importance of our cloud partnerships, in particular, the depth of our relationship with Microsoft. Next, I'd like to welcome Julia Lucen, Corporate Vice President of Microsoft's Developer Division, to discuss how VMware and Microsoft are partnering to deliver incredible value in terms of Spring and Azure. Hi, Julia, welcome to Spring One. Maybe if I can start by having you introduce yourself to the audience. Hi, AJ. So my name is Julia Lucent. I lead developer division here at Microsoft. And my team delivers all of our compilers and runtime, such as TypeScript, C Sharp, and C++, and .NET, .NET Core. We also deliver tools like Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code, as well as a set of Azure-focused developer services that really helps developer build for our platform. We've seen so much about Azure and the momentum you have in market. You know, what's driving this momentum? Well, thank you for noticing our momentum. And we really both think about our success come from four things that we focus on. The first one is that we embrace customer obsession as a core culture value. We actively listen to customers and support their digital transformation needs with a rapid pace of product innovation and co-investing with services and programs with our partners, such as VMware. The second thing we're very proud of is our code to cloud vision to really bring the best of GitHub, Microsoft tools, and Azure together. And our strong commitment to enable developers build using any tools they want, any programming languages, and any framework. And this really aided by our very productive tools and Azure DevOps process. The third thing that we focus on 
is enable hybrid applications we provide. And we want customers to have a great way to develop for cloud and on-prem. And as an example, as a Java developers, you could use our cognitive services in the cloud or bring the same AI model in the form of a container to your on-prem environment. This is something very unique. Last, we know that it's very important for our customers to get into production quickly. And we have made significant investment in security, compliance, and trust. And now Azure has more certification than any other cloud provider. We want to give you the confidence that you can run your business, not just anywhere in the world, but also with the compliance certifications that you need and the trust that you depend on. This is excellent. We've been talking about batch of production. And in fact, this partnership enables that. It's truly marvelous. Let's talk a little bit about from a Java developer perspective. You know, what are you doing to make it relevant, more practical, more easy for Java developers to work with Azure and Azure services? Yeah, and Java is definitely a new community that we're working to attract. Uh, given that my team also owns .NET, which has been fierce competition with Java for many years, it's a really a change Microsoft here for you. And we have been working very closely with our partner ecosystem on creating marketplace images. So it's very easy to migrate existing Java and Java applications to Azure. We're investing in high quality Java SDKs for every Azure service and making target investment to offer differentiated support for Java apps. We have also recently acquired jQuery last year, which has led to a series of performance improvements for Azure services through a combination of JVM engineering and machine learning based performance optimization. We have been actively contributing work to OpenJDK as well. I'm also very proud of the work that VMware and Microsoft have been doing together to bring a seamless cloud application development experiences to Spring developers. Julia, that's awesome. Uh, the level of innovation and excitement and the activity is just in is incredible. What I'm most excited about is the work we've been doing together around Azure Spring Cloud. Can you speak to a little bit about what the customer value would be or the developer value would be? We have spent so much time working with VMware team together we jointly interviewed many Spring developers and really deeply understand their challenges. They tell us that they want to manage their cloud infrastructure with ease. They want to run on Kubernetes, but they don't want to learn Kubernetes. And today it's rather difficult to manage the application lifecycle and to troubleshoot and diagnose production application issues. And these are the problems we set out to solve. Azure Spring Cloud is a fully managed services built on top of Azure Kubernetes services and it completely frees you from having to worry about the underlying infrastructure. It comes with built-in app lifecycle management and deeply integrated monitoring capabilities with Azure or any other third-party tools of your choice. You can also take advantage of our large portfolio of screen starters to easily interact with Azure services, such as Azure Cosmos DB, Azure Active Directory, and Keyboard. On top of that, developers really want fast innovation, and the seamless customer experiences. So between Microsoft and VMware, we're jointly engineering, operating, and support what customer actually wants. Well, thank you for the partnership. That is really impressive and a compelling value proposition. Let me ask you to talk about the latest announcement from, from the joint partnership. Yeah, I'm very excited to announce that the general availability of Azure Spring Cloud. So, you can deploy Spring applications into production with important enterprise features, such as VNet isolation using Azure Virtual Net. And it's very easy to administer and manage your Spring applications with all of the native Azure tools and policy enforcement with Azure Policy. You can bring your workload to Azure along with your developer skills and expand the reach, reliability, and performance of your application. So please give this a try. We would love to hear your feedback. We can't wait to see what you build. Thank you, Julia. This is amazing. A good call out to the developers uh, on the show. Please try it out. It's a great offering. And again, we're very excited with the partnership and to do more with Microsoft and your team. Thank you, AJ. We have really enjoyed our partnership with VMware as well. Looking forward to ongoing collaboration. Always a great pleasure. Thank you again, Julia.